the question. What makes a Founders Edition a Founders Edition? Oh, Someone planted that question. No, we did not plant that. <laughs> Justin, do you want to you uh, handle that? Very good question. Question was, what Thanks makes... Gentlemen. Justin Walker, put your hands together. Jay, 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 Jay Walker, Jay Walker um, oh, that has so been beautiful. running this Pascal launch from the product marketing side from start to finish. He's one of the... Uh, who wasn't up presenting, but... Now's your shot, buddy. <laughs> Make it happen. All right, thank you. Okay, so the question was, what is the Founders Edition? The answer is, this is the Founders Edition. Um, the Founders Edition is the board that is designed and made by NVIDIA. Um, in the past, we've referred to this as the reference design. So if it makes it a little easier in your minds, the Founders Edition is a new name for the reference design. Um, which brings up the question, I'll ask it for you, why did we change the name? Um, there's a couple of reasons why we changed the name, and I think uh, the main one is that reference design is a really poor way to describe what this is. Um, this is a whole lot more than just a reference design. It's really not doing it justice. Um, it doesn't do it justice to the amount of work and time and engineering that we spend making this into a great product. Okay, we wouldn't have done all of this if it was just for a reference. We did it um, so gamers can enjoy it. So the Founders Edition is a reference design. Um, the Founders Edition is what's going to be available on May 27. It'll be available uh, from our partners. It'll be available on NVIDIA.com. Our partners will also be creating their own um, custom designs. And those are the ones that you saw for an MSRP of $5.99. So they'll be starting at $5.99. As usual, they'll have um, their uh, stock versions. They'll have their premium versions at $5.99. Um, the Founders Edition is a premium design, uses premium materials, we got a nice back plate on there, uh, vapor chamber cooling, uh, you guys heard all the stuff that uh, Jensen was talking about with the power supply, that's all part of the reference to the, uh, the uh, Founders Edition. Is this NDA? Justin. Yeah, this is yes. NDA. Um, we we'll can't talk about what, this is NDA. Yes. Yeah. We can't say what the Founder Edition means. Cards. Yes, so partners, uh, the partner cards will be available starting on May 27th. <laughs> And you'll also be able to um, get the card on video.com starting May 27. What's the frequency of that card? So, so uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't. Um, the question about partners, you ought to ask the partners when their card's going to be available. Um, we can't speak for them. We've enabled them. Uh, we believe boards, will, their boards will start showing on the 27th, but we can't speak for them. <laughs> For them specifically, um, there was a question about the reference there was, clock. There was, a, no, there was a question about the clocks. We talked yeah. about the founders edition yesterday. Yeah. The question is, can they define founders edition before the embargo comes up? Because people. Yes. Yeah, so yes, I mean, what what Justin just covered. Jensen talked about founders edition. Founders edition is the um, version of the card with our ID, with our thermal. It's a blower. Uh, it's got all unique um, components. Uh, that is, this. in fact, the founders edition. Um, this will be available on 27th through the channels, through our partners, and, and through us. One of the reasons we wanted to give this a name, um, we like uh, this product and customers like this product so much, we want to keep it available throughout the life of the product. Um, in the past, our reference card was the first to market, and then um, our partners, uh, we would take it out of production. Our goal is to keep the product available through us or our partners through the life of the product. Um, and that's why we gave it a name in addition, and this specific version is is the Founders Edition. So Fish, this used to be, Flagger? Sorry. Hello, over here. Yeah. This used to be the basic card, the reference card, right? Now you're charging $100 <coughs> more for it. But what is essentially the same design as 980 Ti, it looks very similar. So does this have reference speeds as well, or do you boost the speeds above the basic spec of 1080? So this is, this has the reference clock speeds. Uh, the again, you, you know, you mentioned the price and the premium, and really the reason for the premium is that it is a premium design. You know, we use premium materials. Um, what premium material do you use? Uh, it's the full metal shroud. Okay. It's an aluminum shroud with the back plate on it. So <laughs> these are these are uh, you know, it's a higher quality. It's a high quality build. But it's we use premium materials. Put low quality on your <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, guys, look. You sell it for $100 for an MSRP, and that's really confusing. Yeah. Okay, that's confusing to me, and I'm reading it here right now. It's confusing to other people as well. Because that tells me that your partner's cards are worth less than yours. That's, that's the message you're sending. Yeah. Kyle, it's not the message we intend to send. 
This it's using low pro profile um, components. It's got an expensive thermal. Um, it is a more expensive board to build. We know partners will have product out there at this price, even above this price, um, and we expect that they will be able to build product and offer it at MSRP with the, um, I would say, a, a thicker profile, uh, not a blower, but different types of, of thermals that are as equally as efficient. They're good cards. They just have a lower um, manufacturing cost. So, that, I mean, that's the, the, one of our goals is to make uh, build this and sell it in a way that we can maintain availability okay. throughout the life. So, so I, folks. I don't get where you're coming back with your craftsmanship and that's how that's, that's working. But for, for us to explain to, to our readers of why this is going to be worth $100 more, I'm going to have to have more information to say, hey, it's great materials and it's craftsmanship. I mean, if you, if you want to tell me about the specs on, on, on what you're actually putting down on the PCB and tell me, you know, give me some Sure, we'll provide you, we'll provi yeah, that's fine. We'll provide you some more details. And I don't think we're asking you to pick our board over a partner board. I think this is a board that we design and build and we're gonna make available in the market at a certain price. Um, we, we uh, if, if, if customers, if you prefer to refer customers to buy a, a partner board, um, we're happy about that. I mean, this is one of the versions of the board that's gonna be available in the market. We don't wanna set the price. We don't wanna be the low price guy. We don't wanna be the high price guy. We wanna put a board that we design and build in the, in the middle of the pack. We're not trying to um, create a, a product that is better or competes with our partners. We're trying to create an alternative product that is the ID we design, and we hope customers uh, who enjoy it will buy it. <coughs> so, follow-up question, because you said yeah. you're gonna sell this through your partners, so if I understand this correctly, if, the, if an Asus or an MSI or whoever will sell this, on the box it will be called the Asus GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition, and also with the partners, the reference or foundry edition version they sell will be more expensive than their own design that they will sell later on. Um, I, I think uh, we're going to, on, on the 27th, it's probably a good time to have this conversation um, because we are now... But on uh, the 27th, we're not here. <laughs> I know. So, so I will try and speculate. Okay. And um, the uh, partners will, as you know, partner, whenever we launch a product, uh, 980 Tie 649. Um, partners launch products. Some are at 649. Most are higher priced. They've got better. They've got um, bigger coolers on them. They're overclocked. They're 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 special versions of the board. I expect the exact same thing. If this board didn't exist, I would expect the exact same thing with the 1080 and, and 1070. Um, partners will start shipping a version of products at various price points. This product will be one of those in the middle of the stack. But then I don't understand what the cheaper ones will be. Because essentially what you say is that happened all the times that the vendors sell the what we call reference so cards for cool the bottom product. price and sold their own, no, their I, own I, versions I, I, for, I well, for higher prices. Yeah. So what, what will be the 599, the, the, the cheap versions? Um, in, in, a, in, in, a, in a prior um, launch, we would, we would have set this board, which we had a limited supply of, at the, at the MSRP. And we would we would do it so we could put some in the market and then the, the, our partners would take over the design. Um, and it would be gone. We would, we, we would really like, we have customers who have asked to buy this product downstream after the initial launch of the product. So we would like to find a way to um, take this product and keep it in production and supplied throughout the life of this product. Keep it as one of the 1080s. The problem is, at the reference price, it is very painful to do because of the cost of the thermals and everything else. If a partner were building this board, they would sell it at a higher price. So it's our goal just to, we gave it a name so we could put it out there as, as a premium because of the cost of the thermal and the and, and, uh, mechanicals so that we can keep it in production but not constrain the partners to that price. But having said that, that you're essentially still saying that you ask the partners to sell their custom versions for the affordable price if you want cards available at the price you quoted yesterday. They can sell um, below, whatever. I would expect that partners will have ultimately have a um, standard clock version of their card available at the suggested retail price to start. I also expect they will have boards that sell for more than 699 there will be a range of products. 
Um, I'm not, uh, so, so that's that's my expectation. This is something new for us. Um, I, I, I think it, uh, we're gonna learn something from it. We'll see if people wanna buy this, to, to buy the reference, the, the Founders Edition, sorry. <laughs> the Founders Edition. Um, that slip is embargoed forever. Uh, <laughs> we, we would like to ask you guys support for it. You all have opinions about it, obviously. We'd like your support for it, but it's a product we want to put in the market. That the it would be easier if we had it available after the initial launch and we didn't have to explain the two the two prices. So fish. Well, with MBT, this is replaced MBTTM. Yes. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to pivot this time around because we'd like to keep this product available. And, um, and it, it may be confusing initially. I hope as we get through this launch and to the end of it, it'll be more apparent. Um, as products roll out in the future, we would likely have a version of this that we'd like to make available for other products, call them Founders Edition, um, sell them through the channel, our partners as well as ourselves, but have the NVIDIA um, ID, the one we put so much effort into identifying the product with, Okay. Fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, over here. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, just to finish on that, given this is a premium card, yeah. it's a hundred dollars more expensive, yep. and it's specially binned, etc., etc. It's not specially binned. Okay, it's not. But why haven't you ever clocked it then? Just to give a bit more it, it, reference it, speed. Because um, we, uh, you know, we, we we have a ecosystem of partners that are selling our product. Um, it is not my intention to take the best product and put it on this version of it. Um, I would like our partners to be able to build a differentiated uh, family of products. Um, we're announcing a product, we're announcing a certain spec. I believe that it's our obligation to sell our product at that spec. Um, it's designed by us, it's built by us, it has a right, unique ID, it's got a, it's got a great blower uh, thermal, um, and we're putting it out there to, for the customers to decide if they value it or not. So, uh, you know, it, it isn't, I'm not, I don't want to compete with my partners and I want to honor the innovation that they put into our products as well.